Neuroscientists at TIFR, in collaboration with international researchers, have identified the type of neuron in the brain that is responsible for modulation and reduction of anxiety. This is a landmark study. It's a major breakthrough in neuroscience when it comes to treating mental health disorders. I'm just using the scientific description here and calling them mental health disorders. These are anxiety, depression, OCD, and so on. In the study, the team utilized the synthetic psychedelic drug called DOI and injected it directly into the rat's brains. This process helped them identify the neural circuit that's involved in anxiety. But the major finding from this experiment goes one step above this. The team were then able to modulate anxiety by simply simulating these neurons to fire entirely without using the psychedelic. This means that now for anxiety and potentially in the future also for OCD, depression, etc., scientists can come up with a useful drug that does the same fixing function that a psychedelic does, but without actually using psychedelics and without any hallucinatory effects. So for this study, the team at TIFR worked on albino rats. These are well-documented, well-understood in scientific literature, and the setup that was used is called the Elevated Plus Maze, or EPM. As the name suggests, it's a maze, it's elevated, and it is in the shape of a plus sign. The maze contains two elevated arms. They both cross each other like a plus sign. One arm contains tall walls, while the other is open and exposed to light and wind and the elements. In general, rats, even those without anxiety, just with baseline anxiety and fear, right? So even those rats prefer to be within the walled arm. And when they venture out out of curiosity, they often return very quickly because of their default anxiety and fear and shyness. When in these rats their default anxiety was reduced by way of these experiments, the rats would stay out in the light and wind on the exposed arms for longer periods of time. Now, to understand which region of the brain DOI worked on in these rats, the study team mapped multiple regions of the brain in great detail before delivering the drug to that specific region alone and observing the effects. So they provided the drug to different parts of the brain and then saw when anxiety was lowered. And their study showed that finally when they provided the drug only to the ventral hippocampal region of the brain, and the serotonin receptors here latched onto the drug, they noticed a reduction in anxiety. So it is this part of the brain that responds to the drug and reduces anxiety. While they were doing all of this, they were also able to demonstrate that the circuit, the neural circuits and the nerve cells that are responsible for the anxiety reduction response are entirely different from the circuit that is responsible for the hallucinatory response from these psychedelics. In rats and mice, the psychedelic hallucinatory response translates as a head twitch response and that is triggered by an entirely different neural circuit and it does not interfere with the reduction of anxiety in the other brain circuit that the team has identified. So subsequently, within this ventral hippocampal part of the brain, the team decided that they would identify the specific neurons or the very specific nerve cells that fired during the process of lowering of anxiety. There is a related text story to this news which will be linked below, it's been published on the print. And in that, I have quoted neuroscientist Vidita Vaidya at TIFR who led the study over the past five years. And she draws a fantastic analogy to understand the work they did. So let's say, for example, the drug is given to all of the city of Mumbai and her team now wanted to figure out which part of the city lit up in response to the drug. So initially they find, say, like a particular region, like the marine drive lit up. So something was lighting up in the marine drive region. So you're able to zoom in on that. Now here, in this marine drive region, there are tens of hundreds of thousands of buildings. So the team had to figure out which particular building was actually getting lit up. So that they did. And say, for example, she says, she takes the example of an Air India building. So Air India building at Marine Drive has been lit up. So in effect, what this means is that the team found that the drug DOI was causing a very specific population of neurons the building in the ventral hippocampal region in marine drive of the brain. 
These neurons are called PV positive interneurons and what actually physically happens in the brain is that they fire rapidly and they light up literally. So the activation of these neurons was identified as the mechanism that tempers anxiety in these rats. This itself is a major significant achievement. So now, for studies involving anxiety and psychedelics, neuroscientists know which region of the brain to target and there which particular groups of cells to target. But like we said earlier, the team took it a step further. If the drug was going and turning on lights in the air in their building, what would happen if you just remove the drug entirely and simply go and switch on the light switches in the building? This is what the team wanted to know. So what they did was that now that the neurons are identified, they removed the drug out of the equation and they physically simulated those neurons to fire. And turns out just the firing of these PV positive interneurons, even without the DOI drug, resulted in reduction of anxiety. This is tremendous. The findings show that other drugs now could cause these PV positive interneurons to fire and this could potentially lead to therapeutics in anxiety, obtaining the anxiety lowering effect of a psychedelic without the hallucinatory effects and the difficulty in obtaining it. Now that is magic. So now guess what? Neuroscientists don't even need psychedelics. They don't need to go and obtain these drugs that are very hard to come by and which are very clearly showing tremendous promise in neuroscience. They can now just create a synthetic molecule similar to this one without any psychedelic and hallucinatory effects. And this molecule can then latch onto the same serotonin receptors in the brain and fire the same PV positive interneurons without psychedelics and hallucinatory effects. Now the DOI drug that was used, it is a synthetic drug, but it is not easily accessible. It is not on the street. Its effects are comparable to LSD, but they are completely different classes of drugs and the molecules are also different. DOI also does not have an established safety profile and it really can't be obtained from a dealer on the streets. But it has promising potential in psychedelic research, especially now as this study has demonstrated. The findings are among the many groundbreaking studies in recent times on the neurochemistry of mental health disorders like depression, anxiety and OCD. And it is well understood now that psychedelics activate receptors across the brain and show very promising results, especially when it comes to reversing depression. This study is published in the journal Neuron just this week and it was a result of a collaboration between researchers at DIFR who led the study and also teams at Yale and Cornell and NYU Psychiatry. These kind of disorders have overlapping neural circuits in the brain that are responsible for them. Therapeutics that target them are designed to latch on to typically serotonin receptors in the body. These exist even in our intestines, but they specifically latch on to the ones in the brain. In recent years, there has been a resumption of initial research from the 1960s and 70s in psychedelics before they became outlawed and their effects on the brain chemistry. Notably, LSD, psilocybin and even ketamine has shown promise in treating and reversing depression. But in general, there is a lack of equivalent psychedelic research when it comes to treating anxiety as opposed to depression. And that is precisely what inspired this team to study the effects of psychedelics and anxiety. And now, because of this, neuroscience anxiety research has made a major jump. Going forward, we are probably now going to start hearing about similar research on identifying neuron types for OCD and depression and other such disorders in an attempt to modify neural circuits to provide a longer lasting effect that is more beneficial than what the traditional SSRIs provide today.